The caravan has a very violent nature. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. If you guys want to support me financially, be sure to go to my PayPal page or my Patreon page in the links in the description box down below. Also, be sure to follow my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Minds.com. As everybody know, at this moment, there's a series of caravans that are making their way to the United States. The first two caravans come directly from Honduras, and the third caravan comes directly from El Salvador. Many news organizations call people who are part of those caravans as refugees, however that is not true in the slightest. A refugee by definition is somebody who is escaping their country due to factors such as government oppression based upon their race, age, sex, and what have you. Whereas a migrant is a person who is leaving their country due to the lack of economic factors. Here's a snippet from the LA Times to get a better idea on why a lot of these people are leaving their countries. Most say that they intend to cross into the United States, not seek refuge in Mexico. Some complain that they were unable to find work in Honduras. Others say that they were fleeing violence or political repression there and hope to apply for asylum in the United States. Each immigrant was driven by a different dream. For Cesar Mejia, 23, it was the freedom to be himself. When Mejia came out as gay several years ago, his family sent him to a psychologist and a local gang threatened to kill him, saying that they don't want people like him in their neighborhood. Ingrid and Dino, her husband and their two children, left their small town in Honduras about a month ago after a local gang started pressuring her 16-year-old son to sell drugs. They were going to kill him or kill us, she said. In other words, it appears as though that there are a lot of people that are coming from different reasons. Although not all the migrants in the caravans are violent, it appears as though that there's a violent element within the caravan. Upon entry to the Guatemala-Mexican border, their first caravan stored himself inside the gates to get to Mexico. As soon as the caravan forced himself into Mexico, there has been reports of the members of the caravan robbing stores. Not to mention the Mexican government asked the people of the caravan to stay if they want to, however they outright refused. Although the first caravan passing through the Mexican border was pretty bad, it is nothing compared to the second caravan. As you guys saw, the second caravan had a variety of different weapons. It's been reported that they had pistols, as well as cocktails, and other weapons like rocks. So basically, the sole purpose of the second caravan was to hurt people and cause damage. Personally, I don't understand how these two caravans are coming to Mexico with some bad intentions. If a person is legit about their situation, they should not bring rocks or cocktails or guns or rob stores. There are some people on the right that are claiming that this whole entire caravan stuff is organized by something and they're actually right about that. The caravans are organized by a group called Pueblo San Frontegas, literally people without borders. Apparently it's not the first time that Pueblo San Frontegas organized a caravan in the United States. Back in April 2018, they tried to do something similar, however the Mexican authorities stopped them. Look, I have no problem if a group of people want to come to my country for legit reasons and because of persecution. That said, if any person want to come to my country and have violent intentions, I'm sorry, but we're not obligated to help you in any shape or form. 
What do you guys think about this crisis? Tell me down below. And until next time, guys, take care.